Hello, welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. It is Saturday afternoon. I had a wonderful day of uh, filming and editing. Well, a wonderful, productive. I had a productive day. Actually kicked it off with a dance class. There is a workout studio here in New York that is very like, it's it's called 305 Fitness and it's like a dance party, basically. Like there is a DJ and strobe lights and it's supposed to be a dance party and it's super cardio intensive and it's fun. It's, I mean, it's not like a super challenging class from like a dance technical standpoint, but it's still a really good class. So I have been trying to be more diligent about going to it. It's not on class pass, so it's like an extra fee, but it's worth it because it's cardio that I actually like don't get sick of doing. I'm not a big, not a big fan of cardio, but anyways, so that was how I started my day. And then I just a bunch of filming and editing. And now I am headed to UPS to drop off my rent the runway bag before UPS closes. We are headed to a wedding next weekend in Dallas and the entire on the invite says formal, which I really interpret to mean a long dress. Like I think you can get away with some shorter dresses that are still formal enough. If it says formal and it's at night, like I feel like you probably should wear a long dress or try to, especially in the fall, like it's not in the middle of summer. So I got three dresses from Rent the Runway delivered yesterday and I tried them all on and one of them does work. I'm gonna have to pin my bra in order to wear a normal bra, which I feel like I've talked about this before. I hate wearing strapless bras. Like I don't even own one right now because I just, like I think I'm at the point in my life where nothing is cute enough to warrant, like to be worth it. A strapless bra, like it's just not worth it to me. So, but this one, it like, it goes in a little bit and so I can wear a normal bra but I don't have to pin the straps into the dress, if that makes sense. Um, but it's beautiful and it fits well and I think it'll be comfortable and I'm excited. So I'm going to return the other two so that I hopefully I can get some stuff for work next week. Although if I just did laundry, that wouldn't be a problem. I need to do laundry in a bad way, but I just didn't get to it today. I also hate doing laundry on the weekends. Yeah, that's, I need to put that in my planner for next week sometime. There was a crazy long line at UPS. I guess everybody else was trying to get in before it closed too. And when I drop off my rent throw my stuff, technically I can just drop it off and leave. I don't have to get a receipt. Um, I have found though that when I get the receipt, sometimes things tend to ship quicker because they already scanned it, so they have to keep it moving versus if I don't get a receipt, it may not leave till the next day. That's just something that I found, uh, but I did not feel like waiting in that line. I think, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if they're open tomorrow. Some locations are, I don't think that one is. Um, so hopefully they'll just make sure it gets out today and it'll still get delivered to the rent the night place by Monday. So anyways, now I'm headed home. I have a little bit of time. I think I'm gonna try and squeeze in a little bit more editing. And then Sam and I are headed to the bar to watch the Texas football game. We're only gonna be there for like maybe a quarter, maybe a little bit more than a quarter, depending on how many commercials there are. Uh, they're playing Kansas though, so shouldn't be much of a game. And then we are headed to Chinatown for a friend's birthday. So busy evening, uh, but I'm excited to venture out after spending basically the whole day in the apartment. Hello, happy Monday. It is Monday, right? Um, I had a good weekend, almost too good of a weekend. Um, Saturday, I really didn't have lunch. I had like an afternoon snack and I didn't really think about it. And I knew we were doing like a sort of like a flat fee dinner thing. So I was also trying to save my appetite for that. And I had a little too much to drink. Let's just put it that way. So we went to the game watch and I again was trying not to eat any of like the appetizers that were ordered because I was trying to save my appetite for dinner. But I did have two drinks at the game watch and then we went to dinner and I didn't realize that it was BYOB. Luckily the husband of the birthday girl that we were celebrating, he brought alcohol for the table and it was he had sort of overestimated so we were trying to like finish it so we like didn't need to take it with us because we were going out afterwards and I just had a little bit too much on the empty stomach that I did have and uh it it hurt on Sunday for sure but I rallied I got up and I filmed five videos on Sunday all for vlogmas which is so I just felt so good about that I'm trying to get a good chunk of them done before I leave for India so that I can spend the time on the plane editing and go into December with about half. The way that I'm trying to look at it is I want to be, I don't want to have necessarily extra filming and editing to do in December. I want to have, 
I want to be doing the same number that I'm doing now. Actually, I'm okay with doing four because there was a point that I was doing four when one was a vlog and then have the other like three videos a week already be done. So I have another three or four that I want to film next weekend and then I will be good and I will have all that footage to edit on the plane. I'm really excited about that. So that was pretty much my entire day yesterday and then I watched the Cowboys win. I don't know who that team was that showed up yesterday, but it was awesome. And then today, went to work, came home to a HelloFresh box. So if you watched last week's weekly vlog, I tried to get Home Chef and it did not get delivered. And I was kind of torn whether it was a FedEx, something with FedEx actually not delivering it, or whether somebody in my building was like took it from me. And years ago, I had problems with both Amazon and Erin Condren and so I stopped getting those things delivered to my house and I get them all delivered to work So I decided to try HelloFresh because they use UPS And I also did it on a day where I knew I could come home like straight home after work and get home like at 530 on the dot So today that's what happened. They delivered at UPS. It got delivered at 11 a.m and I got home at 530 and it was there so I still it still doesn't necessarily solve the mystery, it, it could have been FedEx, like it could be a FedEx problem, or it could be that I just beat the person stealing my boxes, I just beat them home today, <laughs> or they're not like around, you know, whatever. Because I got home, not that, I mean, it was still a long time after I got delivered, but like earlier than I got home last week when my home chef box didn't get delivered. So I'm unpacking it, and that's when I was like, oh, I should pull out the camera and share it with you guys. I did get this box for free because my mom uses HelloFresh and she had like a free box that she sent me. Um, so that was cool. Uh, we'll see if I keep up with it. I did, I felt like after my research and my mom's research that I do like Home Chef better. She actually alternates between the two, so she signed up for both and then looks at the recipes every week and then picks one of them. Right now, HelloFresh is kind of the only option I have that's gonna get here. Clearly the Home Chef one didn't get here, but I do still have credits at Home Chef. So like, I'm gonna try it again. I might try and get it delivered to my office and see what happens there. I don't know. I've not decided that yet, but I'm excited to have food for this week. It was, I had sort of mentally agreed with myself that if it did not get here today, like if I walked in at 5.30 and it wasn't here, I was gonna turn around, like drop my backpack and go to Whole Foods and go grocery shopping. But now I don't have to. So um, I thought I would just share with you what came inside. So the three recipe cards that came with it and I was chatting with a friend and she was saying that all the recipes she's ever gotten from HelloFresh are pretty easy and the ingredients are not very like out of the box, <laughs> no pun intended, so that to keep these and like you can do them again in the future. One of them's a little bit messed up which I'm kind of bummed about but I'm really trying this new thing. Okay, this is, I'm going off on a tangent for one second. I'm really trying to embrace like messiness and things not being perfect. I definitely struggle with perfectionism and I mean like pages getting bent and I need a whole new version of the magazine or the book or like, you know, writing something and having to cross it off or whatever it is, having things stick out, like having something be imperfect. I want, I want to embrace more of that. I think I'm gonna try and incorporate that into my goals next year because I really just wanna be able to use things without feeling like they have to look perfect. So I wanna create a recipe binder and be okay that one of these is slightly bent or I wanna like write in my power sheets and be okay with crossing things off and moving things around. So anyways, tangent over, let's go back. So I got three, three recipes, two servings each. Some of them are pretty big and pretty high in calories, so I plan to split my portion at least in half and save half for lunch. I think it depends on the, the recipe. This one, I have honey thyme pork tenderloin with broccoli and potatoes, it's 500 calories. This one I probably won't, I'll just have the whole thing. This one I definitely will, it's beef and black bean chili and it's 780 calories a serving, so that one I'm definitely gonna cut in half. And then this one is 720, so I'm probably also gonna cut this one in half for myself. So that gives me three, five meals total for me, which is awesome. So I have, you know, dinner basically and lunch for the rest of the week because we're going out of town on Friday. So it's awesome. So they came first with these little individual bags that have the recipe on the outside. So there's one, oh, this one's heavy for each of the recipes. I'm not 100% sure if I'm just supposed to stick this whole bag in the fridge because it does not include the produce. There's a little thing that says, don't forget about ingredients hiding under the ice. There's a huge, huge ice pack in there. 
It says recycle me, cut a corner. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it says to cut a corner and let it thaw and get rid of the non-toxic contents in the trash and then recycle the plastic outside. That's really good. I do know that one of the big like negatives of getting these boxes is that it's not good for the environment. So I have a ground beef and I have a chicken breast and I have a pork tenderloin. Looks like those are all three of my needs. Those don't actually look like very big servings. Are there like, is that really two servings of each of those? I guess so. That's it. That's in there. Anyways, so I'm really excited that this got delivered. I have a call in 15 minutes, so I'm going to actually just put all of this away and wait to cook it. Also because Sam is supposed to be home at like 8, so I'm going to wait till my call's over and then cook everything. Not everything. Cook one of the meals and then eat it together when he gets home. Guys, my brain today is just not working, so... I'm really excited. Let me know in the comments if you use one of these meal delivery services. I did a huge poll about it on Instagram, but I know some of you aren't on Instagram. So let me know if you use one of these. Do you love it? Like, what are your pros and cons? Which ones are your favorite if you tried more than one? Um, currently, I'm signed up for both HelloFresh and Home Chef, but I'm just skipping for now. I think since this got delivered, I'm going to go ahead and place like submit my order for next week. So go ahead and do HelloFresh again, and then I'll just decide later what I'm going to do about Home Chef. Um, but so that we have something for next week. Cause I think you have to decide if it's like five days out or something. So if I want it Monday, I need to, to do it pretty soon. Hello, happy Wednesday. The last couple of days have been wonderful. I, they just have, they've been really good. I have worked out, I've walked, like I've been eating healthy, but I haven't been like depriving myself. Weight Watchers was good. I was down 1.2, which I feel like when I weigh in and wear clothes, I feel like I, I can only trust like half of it because half of it is probably due to like what I chose to wear this week versus last week. I'm debating having like an outfit that I change into to weigh in at Weight Watchers um, every week. I don't know if that seems like a crazy idea just to like have an outfit that like on Tuesdays when I'm done working change into it and I've actually been walking to Weight Watchers the past two weeks. I mean it's only been two weeks but the there's not a great subway route there. It would require a lot of walking anyways. So like it doesn't save me all that much time to take the subway versus just to walk it. It's about a 20 to 25 minute walk, depending on how fast I walk. But the last two weeks, my mom has been available to talk. So we just talked wedding stuff while I walked. So anyways, I feel like I could change out of my work clothes and put in, put on something more comfortable and then be consistent in what I'm weighing in. And th things have been really good. If you watched my plan with me, you probably know what I'm about to tell you. Today, I went to the Away store. So I have been wanting to get new luggage for a long time. My carry-on is probably about five-ish years old. I just got it on Amazon, some cheap brand. And then my full size, like my carry-on luggage, I'm pretty sure I got that when I graduated high school. And so I, it, it's time for new luggage. Plus, I have all soft-sided luggage and I got all of that before I got a kitty with claws. And she, even if I keep her nails trimmed, she just likes to scratch at my suitcase. And it it just it ends up looking ridiculous. I even had one airline, I can't remember which one, made me sign like a waiver when I checked in my bag for all the like damage to the outside. And they were like, you need to make sure that we're not gonna try and blame this on us. And I was like, no, it's fine, it's my cat. Like I know that it's her. So I'll sign whatever you want me to sign. But I've been wanting to get hard-sided luggage for a long time because of that. And I have a lot of travel coming up in the next couple of months, in the next couple of years, really. And I posted on Instagram asking for recommendations. And by far, the biggest recommendation was for Away. And then my coworker who sits next to me, she also swears by the brand. So I was like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pull the trigger. And then I mentioned it to a friend and she sent me a gift card as an engagement present. So that helped a lot. So I am now the proud owner of, let me flip you around, the large checked bag, like the large, the big, the biggest one basically. And then inside of that is the large carry-on. And I nested them to get them home. I'm going to take them apart in a little bit when I start to pack for this weekend. I'm, not, I'm obviously just going to take the carry-on. And I know I'm going to hear it. I know you're getting ready to comment. I can't believe you got white, especially for a checked bag. Like, it's going to get scuffed. It's going to, like, get messed up. And, like, I know that. I'm aware that it's not going to stay perfect and pristine forever. But... I also know that I can rub them out. I can buff it out with a magic eraser, which they actually supplied a magic eraser. And actually I can already see a scuff that got on it while I was trying to get it home on the subway that I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna magic eraser it out in a little bit. I have other things I need to get done before I get to my suitcases, but before that, let me explain to you why I chose white. So I am a cult bright color person. If you've been around here, you probably know that. And ironically, they just did like a bright color release like a couple of months ago, but it's all sold out. You can get some of it on eBay, but like it's like four things, like every everything is gone. And so I also didn't want to necessarily get a color, like a bright color that was limited edition that if I needed it replaced, cause it does have a lifetime warranty that then I wouldn't be able to get the one that I had already. Like that's kind of a dumb reason, but it's fine. It's one of my reasons. So I really wanted a neutral because all the colors that they have on their website are like pastel or like, like nature, like earthy tones. And those are just not my colors. So I just really wanted a neutral and I didn't want to get black because everybody and their freaking mom has the away black suitcase. And I knew that it would be like not really hard to tell which one is mine. So I decided to go with white. I felt like it was very bridal and I know that I'm gonna have to clean it and like to keep it nice and it might not stay nice forever, but I feel like this is a theme with me, right? Didn't we just talk about this that I really want to embrace like messiness and things like not being perfect. So Anyways, I'm really excited about my new suitcases and to pack one of them tonight. The thing about my plan with me that I did not properly plan was I have a work event tomorrow night, tomorrow after work. Like it's on my work calendar and somehow it didn't make it into my personal calendar. And it is partially, like it starts at like three, but then it goes until 7.30, 7, 7.30, something like that. So, and there's drinking involved. So filming my plan with me is not going to happen tomorrow after I get home. And even packing is like a stretch of whether that could happen after I get home. So, um, I needed to move those things to tonight, which is fine. Cause the away thing it, yes, it was out of my way. Like I had to go like, a away from my house from work and then come back up it was really close to a subway and so it didn't add that much extra time to my like evening like I still got home at a really reasonable time so I have plenty of time to get a lot of things done so here's the list I'm going to shower and wash my hair I know that sounds dumb of like the first thing I'm gonna do but my hair takes forever to dry and then I don't have to go to bed with like soaking wet hair if I wait so I'm gonna do that first and wash my hair then I'm gonna paint my nails because they need to be painted then I'm gonna share with you some things that I got in the mail I got both Erin Condren and Cold Fate What Matters my launch day order so I'm gonna share both of those things with you and then I'm gonna cook I'm gonna cook my last Hello Fresh meal. I've done like the two the past two nights. The first night was like a chicken and then that sweet potato mash and green beans. That was really good. I screwed up the sauce that went on the chicken, but there was like enough flavor on the rub that went on the chicken that I I was fine that the sauce basically I overcooked it, congealed and then it wasn't sauce anymore. It was like goo. Uh there's a sauce tonight too though. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid I'm going to mess up with like some of the very very similar ingredients. Um but then last night it was chili and that was delicious. And then I actually was going to take tonight off was like one of my, I was going to like eat some leftovers, but because I can't cook tomorrow night because of the work thing. And then Friday we were leaving. So I need to cook the other meal tonight. So I'm going to do that next. And then, and then I can pack and then I can play with my new suitcases. I realized I forgot to say something. I mentioned that I'm not filming my plan with me tomorrow night because of, you know, drinks. And there was like, probably a beat where you were like, well, are you filming it tonight? And the answer is no. So spoiler alert, I've been loving the petite daily planner. It's been three days. Okay. So I can't really say all that much. I mean, everything new is exciting, right? But so far it has been awesome for me. I have very, I've, I've, liked it a lot. The only thing I, d I don't like about it is that I decided to use the Papermate flare and it shadows pretty heavily and I kind of 
am annoyed with that, but like that is something I can obviously fix and change in the future. However, because it's only been three days, I'm, I'm not 100% like ready to plan out next week. Does that make sense? Like it's just too, sometimes like when I'm traveling, I will film on Thursday nights, sometimes even Wednesday nights, but Wednesday night in a different planner system that I've been using for three days just doesn't feel right at all. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to film on next Monday night. So I'm going to use the same setup for like Monday that I'm going to set it up over the weekend. I'm going to use the same setup for Monday and then Monday night, I'm going to check in and I'm going to film and plan for the rest of the week. However, I decide to do that. And then I can get that edited and uploaded for Wednesday just fine. So that's my current plan. That is why I'm not filming a plan with me at all this week, which is kind of weird. But I just don't know. I, I've lo I'm loving it so far, but I mean, I don't know. I don't feel, I feel like I'm cheating on my life planner. All right, I did all the things I said I was gonna do. And one additional thing that I forgot to mention, which was edit the video for Friday. I sort of thought I was gonna have time to maybe finish it up tomorrow or even tomorrow during lunch. But given that we're leaving for an event at three, I probably won't take a lunch and I would rather just not have to worry about it being done. Truthfully, I think I'll enjoy the work event more. And maybe if people like stay out afterwards, like I just won't feel rushed. So I went ahead and I also gave my nails time to dry while my nails were drying. I edited that video. So it's a little bit later than I thought it was going to be, but I still want to open up these things before I get to cooking dinner. Uh, so I have a whole pile of Erin Contran stuff and a whole pile of Cultivate What Matters stuff. And I think we're going to start with this pile because this is the one that I'm more excited to open. Not that the Erin Contran stuff isn't exciting, but it's all stuff that I've seen before just in different patterns. So this is the order that I placed on launch day from Cultivate What Matters. They did send me the power sheets and then a couple other things in advance to review, but there were a lot of other accessories that I wanted to get and I talked about it in that video. So in that video, I not only reviewed everything that I got, but I also review reviewed the other accessories that they were offering and said whether or not I was going to get them or not. And for the most part, I stuck to my guns. For the most part. <laughs> I'll tell you what I had originally planned to buy and then what just sort of hopped into my cart on launch day. So all the launch day orders got this cute Cultivate What Matters sticker. I put the other one of these that I got on a Tumblr. I don't know if you remember a really long time ago, I got a bunch of swag basically from Jenny Craig, including this like gorgeous blue Yeti Tumblr that I like to travel with because it's smaller. It's only a 20 ounce Tumblr but I didn't love that it had the Jenny Craig logo on it. In fact, I took it with me to Dallas and my dad even called me out on it. So I put this over that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet though. And then they all came with this little card that says, hello, best year ever. And then on the back, it just says like, you know, let's do this. You made a great decision kind of things, but I'm really excited about this card. I'm probably gonna put this on the back of my desk. So these are the encouraging postcards. And I did say that I was gonna get these. I got their postcards back over the summer when they launched a bunch of summer products. And I knew that they were gonna be super high quality. So I went ahead and got these as well because I'm, you know, I'm a sucker for an inspirational quote. So there's just a bunch of different designs and a bunch of different inspirational quotes. And they are, again, super high quality and they're postcard style. So if you wanted to send them to somebody, you know, they're designed to be that way. I think that I'm probably gonna put a lot of them on the back of my desk with this card, with my word of the year card, you know, et cetera, lots of, lots of different cards. So I'm really excited about these. These are also just really great, I think, to have on hand, just to like send notes to friends. Like everybody likes getting mail. All right, the next thing is the magnetic page markers, which I did say that I was planning to get. I think I maybe said maybe leaning yes, but I, I definitely leaned yes. So it comes with three magnetic markers and let's see if I can feel, they feel pretty strong. I mean, we'll see once I actually get them on that thick power sheets paper, but I really want one like for the current month, for the goals page, and then yeah, I don't know, what the calendar I think maybe, cause there's like a page between, is there a page? There, well, kind of, there's like a page between the tending list and the calendar. So I like that there's three, I'm probably gonna use them all. And I mean, I think that they're really cute. I also love that quote. All right, the next thing that I got, I am shocked at how big they are, like mind blown. I, I mean, I'm sure it said that in the description and I just didn't read it properly, but these are the goal card set. And, oh, there's like a card stuck there. And it comes with 12. And the way that I was thinking about using these is each month take 
you know, the big goals for the month, whatever my focus is or whatever the big things that I wanted to focus on this month and write it on there and then put it somewhere that I could see, whether it was on my desk at home or at work or on my mirror, or on my fridge. But I mean, I'm excited that they're this big because I thought that they were gonna be the same size as like this postcard. But you can see that it is much bigger than this postcard. So I'm really excited about how much bigger, you know, it ended up being. But I love the simplicity of it. I like, I like the idea. I think it's a great idea. So I'm really excited about those. All right, I am really excited about these greeting cards. I actually ordered two of these, one as a gift. So when I made my original list, I was like pretty close to the free shipping, but I wasn't quite there. And so I decided that I was gonna get two sets of these, one as a gift. I ended up being way over the free shipping with the other stuff that I bought, but I'm excited to give these as a gift because I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful gift, especially for somebody who likes to send cards. But So it comes in this gorgeous box, this flower box, and then it comes with 24 cards. So it's $24 for 24 cards. A dollar a card is a great price. Like imagine going into the drugstore and finding a really high quality card for a dollar. Like you're not going to. I just think that they are a really good value. I got the other set that they had I think both sets are still in the store. Like you can still get both designs. This is just a new design. So it's got four of each design. So we have this one that says celebrate. I love all the bright colors. We have this one that's just the plain flowers and this they are all blank inside. This one that's just like a design on teal. We have a thank you one. We have one that says birthday and then you are the very best on the florals. And then the envelopes, I'm assuming that the envelopes are similar to the other ones. Yep. They have the confetti pattern on the inside. So even the envelopes are super high quality. So you get 24 cards and 24 envelopes in this gorgeous box for $24. I can't rave about these enough. I've used, I, I, I try to be not stingy on the ones that I do have because I could always just go buy more. Like they haven't gone out of stock, but I am, I am always making sure that I send them to somebody who I know will appreciate the cuteness of them. Let's do this first, because this is the last thing that I had planned to buy. I mean, it was still technically on the maybe list, but if you watch the video, it was kind of a maybe leading guess. And this is the gift wrap book. Now, I can't even get this all in the shot. I'm not gonna mess with the camera right now. It is huge. Like, it is like 10 inches across and thir like 14 inches up and down. So this is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be, which is awesome. Um, oh my gosh, it feels so nice. The actual like outside of the book feels so nice. So I believe this was also $24 and it comes with 12 gift wrap sheets and 12 tags. And my theory kind of the same as like this one with the drugstore, that's $2 a present. And I definitely pay more in that in like bags or tissue paper. If you live somewhere where you can store full size rolls of wrapping paper, like that's probably not true, like you can wrap for under $2, but I don't have space for that. So this, oh, look at this cute on the inside. It's got a little piece about like wrapping gifts. So it's got, I, I think it's four different designs and it's got three pages of each and they are perforated on the inside and then it's folded four times. So if it's 10 by 14, that means that each one is 40 by 56. So like that's pretty big. It's not gonna wrap obviously like a huge, huge box, but it's gonna wrap a pretty decent size present. So I appreciate the size. They're not double-sided, so they are white on the inside. I don't know if that matters. When Erin Condren released something similar to this, theirs were double-sided, which I felt like, I mean, that's nice, but you're probably charging me more than you need to because I can only use one side. So then we have this that's like a peach with a gold stripe. And then we have the confetti with the gold. They all have gold accents. And then we have white with gold flowers. And then here are the tags in the back. So you've got four that say just for you, four that say celebrate, and four that say happy day. So all the tags are pretty generic. Like none of them say birthday. I just think that this is a beautiful product. I think this is a beautiful product. I think this also makes a really great gift. I, oh my gosh, it's so nice. I'm also gonna be picky about who gets their presents wrapped in pretty wrapping paper. These are the two things that just hopped into my cart on launch day. I fell in love with the size of the pouch, the other pouch. I was like, it's so big and awesome. And then Laura Casey did this video on all the ways that you could use the pouch. And I was like, 
I need the floral one. Like, this is a pattern that they probably are only gonna do this year. Like, this was new for this year. And so I just couldn't, I couldn't resist it. I'm probably not gonna use this on my power sheets because the floral on top of the confetti pattern is probably a little bit too much, but I just really wanted to own it. So it's just solid teal on the inside. I, I tried to like estimate that in my, my review video because the plain outside ones, which I got, has a pattern on the inside, but oh, it's so pretty, y'all. I wanna use it on all the things. Like I was thinking I could use this on my my Erin Condren planner. And then I got the sweatshirt. I, this one I like said I wasn't gonna get and then I totally bought it and I don't regret it in the slightest. It is the softest thing I've ever touched. Like, oh my God, it's so soft. It's soft on the inside and the outside, but like the inside especially. Oh. Oh my God, it's so, so nice. I'm so excited about this. I love cozy things. I don't, I, I, like I mentioned in that video when I said I wasn't gonna buy it, I don't have a place to wear these all that often because I work a nine to five and I don't usually come home and put on like a sweatshirt because it just gets too hot in my apartment. This is if I'm like gonna go somewhere, but like I can wear this on the plane. That was my thought. I was like, I'll wear this on the plane to cultivate your year live. But guess what? I'm gonna wear it on a plane in two days when I go to Dallas. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm really excited, y'all. I'm not gonna rave about it too much because it is sold out, so I'm gonna stop talking. But just know that if they ever do sell these again, you should get it. Okay, now let's go through my stack of Erin Condren. So I got a couple sticker sheets, some of the new patterns that they came out with. This is one of their new holiday patterns. I did pick my own colors on this. I will list it in the description box because I can't remember. I mean, it's one of the light greens and one of the dark greens, but I can't remember exactly what I picked. I grabbed these stickers. These are new. So these are little like rectangle event stickers, but they're super small. And then I think it said somewhere on there that they're meant to fit in the hourly somewhere like specific. I don't have an hourly in my possession anymore, so I can't really try that out. But they're, I mean, I just thought they were pretty and rainbow and I could always use more stickers. And then I got this one. Oh, this pattern is so beautiful, y'all. I love, love, love this pattern. And then this one, I didn't pick any colors. This was just how it came, but oh, it's so pretty. And then I got two new covers. So I got one of the Christmas covers. I didn't get either of them customized because I just am not sure. Like, I don't know it, am I allowed to order stuff with my new last name yet? I don't want to order this with my current last name because it's not going to be my last name for like realistically that much longer. It probably never was going to be my last name for that much longer, but like now it's legit. So I just got the, I just got the cover with no customization. And then same thing with this one. I thought this one was really pretty. It says 2020 on it. It just is teal with silver. So they had three different versions of this with the three different metallics. You didn't get to pick the background color, but the silver came with this beautiful teal. So I decided to go ahead and get that. And then I got myself another wedding planner. And I am very appreciative of the wedding planner that they sent me. However, they only sent a 12 month planner and I really wanted the 24 month planner. We are not planning to get married until spring of 2021. So I really needed the 24 month version. So I decided to go ahead and get my own and keep your eye out. I am gonna do a video on this, setting it up and sharing my initial thoughts and reactions to it. And when I do that, I. I'm probably gonna give away the 12 month one that they sent me. So just something to keep an eye out for. But I decided to go ahead and do this Life in Little Squares cover. This is one of my favorite covers like of all times. I just, I love being able to put a bunch of pictures. I used to do this when I was in school, like on my binder that I would carry around with all of my homework assignments, I would create picture collages on the outside. So this is basically the same thing. So I just did all pictures of us. It took me forever to, you know, balance out the close ups with the far away and the different colors, but I love of how this turned out and then I was gonna put something about our wedding but honestly we haven't decided on a hashtag yet so I just put I love you the same which is something that we always say to each other and then it comes with a set of date dots because it is undated but I did get the October start even though by the time I get this set up and really going it's really gonna be November but I decided it, it didn't really matter because I'm not gonna use it past maybe July is like the latest I'll go. Although we are gonna go on our honeymoon later in the year, so maybe I will use it. But anyways, I'm not gonna flip through the entire wedding planner now because that's gonna be a separate video, but I did wanna share it with you because it was part of this order.
Hello, happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. It was a pretty long week, not, not gonna lie, but it was a good week. It was a really good week. Got back into a gym groove. I, I had a fun work event yesterday. We went to the virtual reality world, which it was cool. Don't get me wrong, but like, I won't go back. Like it's not, I wasn't so excited that I feel the need to go back, but like, I'm glad that I went once. I thought it was really cool. And then we had a happy hour afterwards and stayed out probably a little later than I should have. But it was fun. And then this morning, got up and finished packing. This morning, I love my new suitcase. I just feel like I can fit so much more in that suitcase than I could like in any other suitcase, any other carry-on suitcase. And like, they're the same size. So I'm really excited about that. I just got home. I have probably about 45 minutes until we need to leave for the airport. And I have a handful of things that I need to finish up. Otherwise, I'm good to go. And it's time for a weekend vacation. It's not really a vacation because I'm not taking any time off. It's literally Friday to Sunday, but I'm excited for some time away. And I'm gonna go ahead and close out the weekly vlog so that the rest of the weekly vlog is our travels and Dallas and the wedding etc. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. I want to film in next weekend, in next weekend really. Right now, I think home, uh, not home fresh, that's not an option. <laughs> right now, HelloFresh is really the only option I have that's going to get home, get here, get here. What? And then I'm going to pack that's not next. And if you live somewhere where you can store full-size rose roll rose rose rose